All right, guys, time to get busy. Breeding season is right around the corner, at least for us here in the north. Um, month of November is really important. I know I've talked about this in the past. This is the time to get things ready, get your birds ready, get your compartments ready, clean everything out. That's what I'm doing today. I got my trusty shovel. I need to get in there and I need to clean. And I'm going to pre-warn you guys. Um, it's not very pretty in there. I am guilty of... Uh, of sort of putting the breeders on the back burner once I start racing um, I put a lot of energy and a lot of my focus on the young bird team and the old birds the breeders basically just go on the back burner I do separate the cocks and the hens um, and then that's pretty much it food water grit uh, supplements weekly but that's as far as it goes I don't do anything else um, I will remove some of the high spots any build up on purchase things of that nature but for the most part I don't do anything else and it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it really isn't a good thing either. Uh, the buildup is there, and I need to get in there badly. Um, as you guys can see, it is light out. It is my day off, which means I have enough work to keep me busy all freaking day long. But nonetheless, guys, I'm going to take you in there. Like I said, pre-warn you guys, it's not going to be pretty. Um, I'm literally going to take you guys in there and show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, just to show you guys that it, uh, you know, we're not all perfect. And... Uh, things get caught up yeah I still got a couple birds in here I gotta figure it out but uh, as you guys can see oh you know what time to get some lights on I got my timer up here let's flip that on there we go what's up guys all right so prepare yourselves guys she's not pretty I got the heaters I gotta plug those in because it is freezing overnight all right they're all gonna run out and that's okay as you guys can see for the most part, actually, let me back it out. There we go. For the most part, the perches are clean. The boxes are fairly clean. I do keep the birds out of the boxes. Now, I just give them that four-inch ledge to sort of maintain. But the floor is definitely built up. I mean, this is a six and a half inch rise, and for the most part, if we look down, there's plenty of space below this. But under the perches, where it gets heavy, that's where it starts to build up. And I like to get it all cleaned out, start fresh. Uh, does it hurt the birds? Absolutely not. It is dry. There's nothing wrong with what's going on in here. Uh, but I like to get a fresh start like anything else. You know, clean up, get everything ready. I am going to remove the perches as per usual because uh, I want the cocks to sort of start maintaining their boxes. And I am going to move any cocks that are not breeding this year in this section out. I'll probably put them in the middle section even though I've been using this as my feed room uh, for the last month or so. I sort of hate to lose that, but it is what it is. I'll move them in there. And I'll keep the 12 or 13 that I'm going to keep in here. Probably 12. I'm going to obviously have to use that top box because Gingerbread Man is using both of those. Um, so 12 cockbirds in here. I am going to remove the perches. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. i got a lot of work to do. Um, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done here. It shouldn't take me more than probably 15, 20 minutes at best. Like I said, the boxes are relatively clean. Just a quick scrape over. Uh, and then just the floors. I'll lift those up, bag it all up. It is very fairly loose apart from uh, the areas that are heavy everything else is is really really loose that's why i got the shovel i, I virtually do no scraping and you guys can see the floor is dry nothing on the bottom of my boot um, i love these raised floors but i'll get back to you guys as soon as we're done here um, and maybe i'll go over a couple of the breeders that, are, that we're going to go over uh, that we're going to move into the next year with um, and regardless of what happens guys i mean at this point everything is so up in the air uh, with my game plan for next year but i still want to follow the same routine i still want to follow that same pattern um, because things can change you know sometimes i change my mind with the drop of a hat so i might as well be ready i might as well have a team uh, going forward just in case things change um, i don't want to say anything too soon so we'll just take one day at a time guys but we'll get back to you guys as soon as i'm done here i don't want to make this video too long talk about nothing but scraping a loft so we'll see you guys in a little well, bit. ripped up the floors i just wanted to show you guys exactly what was underneath no surprise droppings uh, the point i was trying to make is how dry everything is even though it's very these are two by sixes here let me get in there a little bit these are two by sixes so that's at least six and a half inches of height and you can see some of it's at the very top but it is bone bone dry and that's what you guys want a lot of feed in here which is a it's sad it sucks because feed's so expensive 
but it's not a total loss. I am going to take a few minutes, clean the very center here, all this feed. I'm gonna give it to the birds. I have chickens out there. They can peck through it if they want. Um, so it's not all gonna go to waste necessarily, but it is, a, it, it is sad to see when you spend that much money on feed. And as you guys can see, that is a lot, a lot of feed in there. But the point is it's dry, guys, and that's the point I was trying to make. No matter where you go, it is dry, dry. Nothing's on the hand, a little bit of dust. So as deep as it is, as ugly as it is, it's dry and it doesn't hurt the birds whatsoever. Well guys, from start to finish, it took me all of 18 minutes. It was that quick. Very little scraping in the boxes because I kept them out of the boxes. And again, virtually no scraping whatsoever once I lifted up the, the raised floors. The heavy stuff was in that corner, a little bit across the edge here. You can see some of the staining. But apart from that, it took 18 minutes flat, and I took about eight feed bags of mixed droppings, feed, and a lot of nesting material. Surprising how much nesting material has fallen through the floor, and they couldn't get to it. So a lot of that buildup, a lot of that heavy stuff in that very back corner, majority of that was in fact just straw and pine needle and everything else that I use for nesting material. So it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was. It was just a stack of. But not bad at all, guys. Not bad. I am going to remove the box or the purchase here and then uh, move the cocks that I will not be using into the middle section and then let the cocks have their section. Let them fight it out. And we'll go from there, guys. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys my little face mask here. It's like a little pocket mask. Boy, does it help. I'll tell you what, it is a godsend. And like I said, it's so small, it fits in your pocket, doesn't get in the way of anything. And highly, highly recommend any sort of mask when you guys are cleaning. Do not take the risk, guys. We have a short life to live. No point of uh, beating yourself up, beating up your lungs with pigeon droppings and dust and things of that nature. So we'll see you on the next one, guys.